二度とあんな思いだけはさせねえようにおめえのことを見守り続けたんですあ嬉しかったんですそれが私じゃなかったのが少し悔しいですけど。Oh man, even when I want to come and bag on the anime a little bit, Banished Hero, like the ED is just so good. Like, even if I'm just like, ugh, this episode was ugh, and then the, the ED starts, and then they got the little, like, you know, they got the little puppet strings, and then the girls are like, ooh, and ah.、Uh, it's like, yo, it just puts you in a good mood. The ED, honestly, is one of the best things about this show. The ED is just so good. And the ED of this show, as well, too, represents them all kind of being. Manipulated, right? Like they're they're being manipulated kind of like by the world, and it, it represents them on like puppet strings, kind of be manipulated that way. Like, oh, that's so good. The ED, like, is just so much better than the actual show. It's kind of wild, actually. uh Okay, episode seven. So, with b e n i s h i r o they're always trying to be more. Thought provoking. They're always trying to be more mysterious. They're always trying to provide more twist and more aha moments of like, ooh, look what we just did. But what their actual product, the actual media, the actual story that they put forth isn't thought provoking. It isn't mysterious. It's very obvious. Like the tone that they're trying to set. And the actual material, they do not match at all. Like this episode, you know, kind of in the, like, kind of like pretty par for the course, but like in the middle ish episode, they they cut to the logo of the show and then they, they have the music like, do, 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 Like, it's it's a hundred percent. At first, I wasn't sure if it is or isn't, but it's one million percent taking itself seriously. And by making it, by taking itself seriously, that's what makes it just like so funny because it's like, it's so, like, it's so bad, it's good, I think. So, this episode, we, Alan, out of nowhere, he just gets a hair up his ass. He's like, I'm gonna go to the Empire. Bye. <laughs> No reason. Like, we just got done with all that stuff. He just killed his dad. His brother's still MIA. Where the F did his brother go? They're not even touching. Like, they're just like, brother who? Brother who? Brother, ew. Brother, ew.、Uh. <laughs> like, they're just like, ooh, ooh. Like, who knows where the hell this dude's at? They just keep moving the plot line forward, I guess. But Alan just wakes up one day and he's like, yo, I'm leaving to the Empire because、uh, I feel like it. And he's like, bye, girls. And they're like, yo, what the f- We're coming with you, bro. And he's like, ah, you guys can't come with me. You guys gotta go do your own thing. You guys just you guys just can't come over here. You guys gotta go and, you know, you know, do the stuff. Do the stuff with the thing with the other thing. And they're like, no, we're coming with you. He's like, ah, okay. And then Lise, the princess, you know, she has to handle the domain now. She's the Westfeld, you know, whatever, whatever. And she's like, I can't go. And he's like, it's okay. See you later, baby girl. Basically, like, he's like, Bye, fiance. And then she's like, nah, F you, bro. I'm coming along. And then she tells her guard, like, you take care of everything. All right, peace. And then they just leave. So immediately, like, that is silly. Okay. Then they get to the Empire. And last week, they teased Henriette, the red haired girl. This week gave a lot more, you know,、uh, what do you call it? Nuance to her and, like, gave backstory. Her backstory is as follows. Apparently, she was some God stricken person. Like, basically, she has God powers. And essentially, what I would, I would compare her to is an angel. And essentially, she was an angel before who was very close to Alan and would watch over him in his past life. And as he was dying, as he got betrayed and everything, she came and she was. Destroyed emotionally. She's like, I can't believe they let this happen to you. I'm so sorry. I'm willing to bestow any wish upon you, whatever. And that's the moment that his gift was was given to him, which was, you know, he wants to be reincarnated in a world where he could truly be happy, blah, blah, blah. So she bestows that gift. So she's the reason for his reincarnation. 
But she takes it one step further because she's obviously was and is very much in love with Alice. She's like, I'm a reincarnate myself. Mm -mm -mm. Homegirl go come with you. And she reincarnates into this world as the daughter of a marquee. And obsessively, I have to mind you, like, like there's Stalker and then there's Henriette. Like, she's above that. She's been watching Bro, like, like, ne like binging Netflix. Like, she's, like, probably watch this motherfucker when he sleeps. Like, obsessively. Kind of concerning. Like, it, it kind of, there's a moment where you're like, oh, you know, she's in love with him. But, and then there's, like, a. Yo, know, ain't that a little much? So she watches him obsessively. And uh, apparently Alan just, they didn't really cover this too well. Maybe when he was earlier in life or something, but they've known each other. Or he knows that who, who she is now and who she was then. Whether she told him, whether he magically could pick that up, at some point he knew. And he comes and he's like, you know, they have this conversation about who they were and blah, 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 blah. And then, you know, she takes them to the Empire and she keeps speaking about herself in, in the third person. Henriette this, Henriette that. And the girls are like, isn't that a little cold? She's like, yeah, Henriette's parents are dead. And they're like, yo, isn't that a little cold? And, you know what I mean? So, like, they haven't really said, like, hey, why do you keep talking about yourself like that? They just kind of let it go. So she keeps talking about herself in third person, which is a whole other basket of... <laughs> You know, because, uh, you know, yeah, I get that you were this angel person, whatever, but you ain't now, homie. Like, you reincarnated. So there's that. And then she, you know, he, you know, she admits to low keeping stalkerish the whole time. And Alan's like, <laughs> warm and fuzzy. And it's just, okay. So now the next portion of the story is, you know, he met the knights and, you know, he met the black knights or whatever I think they're called. And instead of just getting out of the way, he, you know, allowing some dude to pass him by, uh, he knocked him out and this dude had like some kind of demon spell on him. He blew up and he's being, he's like, you know, suspect number one all of a sudden now. Mind you that the guy that they were chasing blew up a poor, he was a criminal and he blew up a portion of the town. So they were, they were going after, they were going to kill this motherfucker anyways. But now he's suspect number one, and they're going to come across and go get him. I don't know. You can't make this stuff up. Anyways, this show is wild, and it takes itself way too seriously, and that's what makes it funny and watchable, honestly. So, anyways, let me know what you guys thought of this episode down in the comments below. I'll see you next week. Peace.